Good morning. This is Travis. Thanks for watching today for Video Tuesday. And so, as I said, October is quick Christmas cards. And so today we are going to be making a card and I'm going to be using a stamp set that I haven't used in, in any of my videos. It's called Festive Words. It's a red rubber set. It's a, a five stamp set. And uh, when I first saw it, I, this really popped out. Okay, that was the, the reason that I really wanted the stamp set. But now as I'm looking at it, in addition to that, I'm in love with this Christmas tree. And I love the sentiment, love, peace, and joy. So that's the stamps, the stamp that I'm gonna make uh, our card with today. So let's make this a quick card. It won't be a five minute card, but um, it'll be a relatively fast card. So let's get started today and thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm going to be using Cherry Cobbler as my cardstock base. I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to make that five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to be using some designer series paper that I'm in love with, Iconic Celebrations. This paper is gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using these three sheets, okay? And I'm gonna cut this down. I'm gonna make it, um, I need to strip, so I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna cut them all at once. Since they're designer series paper, you can do this on your paper trimmer. Uh, five and, uh, one and five eighths, okay? So I'm gonna make these one and five eighths by four. I'm gonna cut this down and make this four. All right, so I think I have everything cut now. So I have these three pieces and look how they coordinate, it's gorgeous. Um, the other side is pretty too. I love the little, I love the little um, peppermint sticks. This one is, I guess that's like a berry, berries and leaves. And this side is cherry cobbler leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. This is a regular size card. Okay, so we are going to put our adhesive. I'm gonna start with the center piece. Um, no, you know what? I think I'm gonna start with the top piece. I think it's easier that way to, to layer it, to get it actually on here correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down first. And then we'll do this one. Those almost look like feathers. I guess they could be leaves or feathers. Hmm. The bottom is feathers, actually. I think they are leaves. Okay, and then the last piece is, of course, my favorite, the plaid. Love plaids. So see, if you wait, you can kind of center this one and make it more perfect. Okay, so there is my quick card so far. Now I'm gonna be using Spotlight on Nature. And I never got the stamp set, but I did get the dies. And there's so many amazing dies in here. I think there's 12. And um, they, they're they all, they layer, okay? But they also, they're individually, they're gorgeous. Okay, so I used this one and I cut this out of just white cardstock, just regular white cardstock. Not thick, nothing fancy, okay? And now I'm gonna be using that stamp that I love, the Christmas tree. And I need to put that on a decent sized block, okay? I'm gonna be using my marker. So the colors I'm gonna be using today, of course, Cherry Cobbler, Mossy Meadow. I'm gonna be using Pecan Pie and also uh, Crushed Curry. So what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to uh, use the uh, brush tip of the marker and I'm gonna color the individually things that I want different colors. So this is a technique that, um, oh my gosh, like since I've been a demonstrator for 20, 24 years. We've done this technique many, many times. And what's funny about techniques is this, they come and go, right? Um, they, let me see, 
yeah, make sure I'm coloring that right. Um, they, techniques, like they'll be really hot, like a hot technique for a while, and then it kind of runs its course, and then you don't see it for a long time. Well, this technique, uh, you know, marker to, I don't know what they call this, marker to paper uh, technique has been around a long time. I think this might have been when I first signed up as a demonstrator back in 2000. This was an, uh, one of the techniques that really was popular. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm gonna do the, um, the green. This is our mossy meadow. I'm just gonna do the tree branches. So each time you stamp this, you would want to clean your stamp. Unless you were going with the same color again, you could, oops, I think I just got a little green on there. That's okay. You know, it's a hand stamp card. We always say this. It doesn't have to be perfect to be gorgeous. You can, you can make a card that um, is totally different from the way it was designed, the, or the stamp set, use the stamp set in a different way. Okay, I'm gonna come back and pick up that P again. Clean that off. If you get ink on your, <coughs> sorry, losing my voice. Um, you can come back over it and then clean that off the tip of your marker. Okay, now we're going to make the star. I'm just going to use let's move that clink, clink, clinking, driving me crazy. I don't know. I am weird about noises. My husband's always like, I'm like, what is that noise? Somebody's blowing their leaves and I don't know, just crazy stuff like that drives me crazy. Okay, with this technique, you don't have to rush because you're going to blow on it right before you stamp with it. And that actually brings the ink back up to the top of the um, of the stamp. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? So I got all the colors on there the easy way. I call it the easy way. Love, peace, and joy. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is there's another stamp in here and it's this one. It's like the little speckles and I'm going to do that next and I'm going to just add some I'm going to call them lights to the tree and I'm going to stamp that in crushed curry okay so I'm just going to add those on here now just little speckles kind of like there were lights on the tree I don't know if that's what it's designed for, but that's the way I'm using it. Okay, I'm gonna add some dimensionals here. And this is a big piece of paper, so I'm gonna add a lot of dimensionals. Okay, so now, take these off the backs. that. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle here with our Druzy Adhesive Backed Embellishments. These are available in the mini catalog. And I'm just going to add, do I want the gold or silver? I think I'm going to go with the silver. I'm just going to add a few of these around. Three of them. I always do them in odd numbers. Okay, so there's our quick card today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing another one for you on Friday. And uh, thanks for watching. My name is Travis Bossler, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri.